Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is a b plus a, this is equal to 32. Let's call this equation 1, and that's a b plus b, this is equal to 35, we can call this equation 2. Now, what is the value of a, and what is the value of b, given that a is not equal to 0, as well as b is not equal to 0. So let's provide a solution from here. Now, the first step to do here, let's subtract equation 1 with equation 2. And therefore we have a, b plus a, subtract a, b plus b, this is equal to 32 minus 35. This implies that here we have a, b plus a. Let's open the parentheses here. We have minus a, b, then minus times plus b. This becomes minus b. This is equal to 32 minus 35, which is equal to minus 3. a, b minus a, b. This simplifies so that we have a, minus b, this is equal to minus 3. So we can make a to be the subject of the formula so that a is equal to b minus 3. Let's call this equation 3. Now, the next step is that let's substitute equation 3 into equation 2. Remember equation 2 is a, b plus b, this is equal to 35. Substituting a here, then we have b multiplied by b minus 3, then plus b, this is equal to 35. Now let's open the parentheses here, this is b times b, this is b to the power of 2, minus 3 times b, this is minus 3b, plus b, this is equal to 35. So let's take that 5 on the left hand side, so minus 35. This is equal to 0. So here we have b squared minus 3b plus b. This becomes minus 2b minus 35. This is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation here of the form a x squared plus bx plus c. This is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation here, we have that a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 2, and that c is equal to minus 35. So this implies that to solve for b1, comma b2, we can use different formulas here, but now let's use quadratic formula. We have minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 is c, everything here divided by 2 times a. So the next step is to substitute the values of a, b, and c. Now substituting the values of a, b, and c, here we have minus minus 2 plus or minus. Now we have the square root of minus 2 raised to the power of 2, subtract 4 times a, which is 1 then times c, which is minus 35, everything here, divided by 2 times 1. So here we have minus times minus 2, this is 2, plus or minus, we have the square root of, now, minus 2 raised to the power of 2, this is 4, then we have that 5 times 4, and this is equal to, this is minus 4 times minus 35, and this is actually equal to, plus 140. Now, the next step from here, this is divided by 2. So that now, here we have 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 plus 140, this is 144, divided by 2. So now here we have 2 plus or minus the square root of 144, this is 12, over 2. And given that in the numerator 2 is common, we can factor out 2 
so that now here we have this is the same thing as one plus or minus here we have six cross the parentheses everything divided by two so let's simplify two and two here and this implies that b1 comma b2 this is equal to one plus or minus six so this implies that b1 this is equal to one plus six and this is equal to seven and we have that b2 this is equal to one minus six and this is equal to minus five okay so now we can solve for the values of a if you recall if you recall from equation three we have that a is equal to b minus three as you can see here a is equal to b minus three so therefore we have a1 is equal to let's start with b1 here b1 is seven so we have seven minus three and this is equal to four so this implies that the first set of solution here that is a1 comma b1 this is equal to four comma seven so this is the first set of solution that we have. Then to solve for A2 here, let's solve for A2. A2 is equal to B2, which is minus five, subtract three, and this is equal to minus eight. And this implies that here, A2 comma B2, this is equal to minus eight comma, B2, which is minus five. So we have two set of solutions here. A1, B1, which is four comma seven, and A2, B2, which is minus eight comma minus five. So the next step from here, let's verify that these two values or these two set of solutions here satisfies the equation as follows. Now let's verify that A1, B1, and a2 b2 satisfies the equation now if you recall we have that a b plus a this should give us a value of that two this is equation one and that a b plus b this is supposed to give us a value of 35 this is equation two so let's use a1 b1 Let's use equation one to verify so that we have equation one, we have four times seven plus a, remember a in this case a is equal to a one, which is equal to four. And this is supposed to give us a value of that two. Seven times four, this is 28 plus four. This is supposed to give us a value of that two. 28 plus four, this is equal to that two which is equal to 32. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. Now, let's check the second set of solutions here, which is A2, B2, which is minus eight minus five by applying equation two. Now we'll have minus eight multiplied by minus five, then plus B, B is minus five. This is supposed to give us a value of 35. So minus eight times minus five, this is equal to 40. Then plus times minus five, this is minus five. And this is supposed to give us a value of 35. So 40 minus five, this is equal to 35 which is equal to 35. And therefore, this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that A1, B1, which is 4, 7, and A2, B2, which is minus 8, comma, minus 5, satisfies the equation. So can you draw the steps? like this video 
and kindly subscribe please like and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye for now